Hi, my name is Laura Nelkin. I'm a knitwear designer. I live in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region. And in this video, I quickly want to show you how to do my favorite circular cast on. This cast on is sometimes called an invisible cast on. It's also called a disappearing loop cast on. And I've heard it called a pinhole cast on before. About 10 or 12 years ago, I shot a video at my kitchen table for this cast on that has gotten a ton of views. And whenever I watch it, I cringe a little bit because the quality of my videos is so much better now. So I wanted to reshoot it for you. But that other video is out there if you'd like to watch that as well. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I've got my yarn right here and what I'm going to do is take my yarn and make an overhand knot and have the tail hang down to the right. And now I'm going to take one double pointed needle. You can also do this with one long circular needle. And I'm going to take the working yarn, not the tail, and put that over the needle, basically making a yarn over. And now I'm going to go inside that center, that circle loop that I made and grab the working yarn and bring it over the needle. And now I have two stitches on the needle. And now I'm going to make a yarn over over the needle. And now I'm going to reach inside that loop and grab that yarn and bring it over the needle. And now I am going to make another yarn over and I am going for eight stitches on my needles. And now I'm going to reach inside. That is six. Now I'm going to make another yarn over. That is seven. And then I'm going to go grab a last stitch and that is eight. And now here is the fun part. I've got all those stitches on my needle. I'm going to go ahead and pull the tail tight, snugging that all up. Now, the tighter that you work all of those stitches, the tidier they will be. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take all of those stitches and slide them to the other end of your needle ready to work. And now you're going to knit one row and you have two choices here. You can knit one row and divide all of your stitches onto your double pointed needle or if you're using one long circular needle onto one long circular needle or you can knit across that row and then divide the stitches. I actually find it to be a little bit easier to knit across all eight stitches and then divide them up because you have like a base row working that one row. So I'm knitting all eight stitches. And then before I continue on in the pattern, I am going to divide those up. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take the first two stitches and put them onto one needle. And then I'm going to take the next two stitches and put them on into another needle. And then I'm going to take the next two stitches and put them onto another needle. And now I can leave those last two stitches right there. And I am ready to work in the round. Now, if you feel like your um, circle is getting loose, you can just pull it up and snug it up again. If you feel like your stitches are looking a little baggy, you can go back and work it again, pulling up a little bit more tightly. But you can see that center out circular cast on right there, also called a disappearing loop or a pinhole cast on. I use this cast on when I am working center out shawls, when I'm working top down hats. I probably wouldn't use it on the toe of a sock. If you're doing a top down mitten, you could use it at the top of a mitten. It has a lot of different applications and I bet you're going to have a fun time working with it. A few tips that I do have is if you are finding this fiddly and you are working a pattern with lace weight or fingering weight yarn, go ahead and grab some bigger needles and bigger yarn like I did to show you the cast on and practice with those before you use your lace weight or fingering weight yarn. Another thing that I have learned is that this cast on is very hard to do when you are sitting on a couch. So bring yourself to a table or if you don't have access to a table, grab a pillow so 
you can be working on that pillow on your lap, something so your needles can lie flat while you are getting set up to work in the round is going to help you have success with this cast on. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. I'd love if you subscribe to my channel and signed up for my newsletter. Feel free to leave comments below. If there's any other videos you'd like to see either me either make or remake, I am happy to do that. Happy knitting.